down to one. Salter barely gets it off on first and ten. Plenty of time to throw. Salter airing it out. Intercepted at the 40-yard line on the first play from scrimmage. Brought back inside the 25. And Middle Tennessee will take it inside the 25-yard line. Tyrell Raby with the interception. Just the seventh INT of the year for Middle Tennessee comes on the first play from scrimmage. Carter, that play never had a chance. He was so frantic pre-snap. I mean, he just lost that ball up there. And credit to Raby for making the play. But when you are running to the sideline and you still don't have your helmet and there are 10 seconds left on the clock. I Middle Tennessee has been fairly good. 55% touchdown percentage in the red zone. That's bobbled but caught on the edge. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. The Blue Raiders are on the board first. DJ Riles, the backup quarterback and wide receiver, makes the grab on interception. Called third and a long one on the second drive for Liberty. Cooley takes it inside the five, pushing into the end zone. It is a touchdown, Liberty. What a response from the Flames after the opening drive INT. Quentin Cooley with a rushing touchdown for Liberty. Let's go back to this opening play for the Liberty Flames that was busted literally from the sideline. May have put on the wrong helmet. He puts it on. Immediately you see in his eyes, this is not my helmet. Where is it? And the clock is just ticking. I mean, 15, 14, 13. Again, you have to call a timeout in that situation. He's too frantic. Adiato on second and nine. Quick hitter to the outside. Complete breaking free. Touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Elijah Metcalf, the sophomore from Charlotte, has his fourth touchdown of the year, and Middle Tennessee is back on top. The second touchdown drive for Liberty. Gives it to Cooley, who takes it inside the five, takes a pop, stretching across the goal line. He is in. Touchdown, Liberty. Quentin Cooley again into the end zone. The second rushing touchdown. Salter will give it to Lucas, who walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Liberty. Three touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns, and the Flames are on top. Dobson and Riles in the backfield. Toss it to Dobson, stretching to the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. A terrific drive to end the half by Middle Tennessee. Salter hands off. Cooley lost the football, loose on the ground. Middle Tennessee has it. On the field as the ball A takeaway by the Blue Raiders. The second turnover of the night by the Liberty Flames. Marley Cook knocks it free. Curtis comes away with the football. What an effort by Marley Cook. By all means, he is being blocked. That offensive lineman is in his chest. He is engaged, and he's able to spin out of it and then do just enough to pop that ball out. Watch 57. He's blocked. He's hooked. He spins. Where is he? Where is he? And he just turns around and that left hand punches it out. And that blue Raider defense making a big play. Badiato, time to throw. Airs it out. Looking long. Caught inside the five. Touchdown. England Chisholm holds it in. And for the first time this year, Liberty trails in the second half. A 36-yard touchdown. Badiato to England Chisholm. Lucas back in the game. Salter tosses to a wide open receiver at the goal line. He is in. Touchdown. Hanshaw has it. Stretches for the touchdown. It's a 16-yard TD pass from Salter to Bentley Hanshaw. Gary Wilkins, the sophomore running back from Memphis in the backfield. Fake it to Wilkins. Toss it again. It's Dobson on the edge for a first down. Sprinting across the 50-yard line. Dobson still in bounds, and he will take it. The distance touchdown, Middle Tennessee. Zach Dobson goes 72 yards. Only a sophomore, Caden Salter. On first down, Cooley has a big hole. Cooley into the end zone, keeps his feet. 
Touchdown, Liberty, the third rushing touchdown of the night by Quentin Cooley. This one from 10 yards out. Short of the first down. Instead, first and 10, 15-yard penalty. Salter winding up to the air, to the end zone. It is hauled in, caught touchdown. C.J. Daniels gives Liberty the lead early in the fourth on a 37-yard touchdown strike from Salter to Daniels. Max Morgan to punt. Zach Dobson is back. Let it hit inside the 30, takes a Liberty roll inside the 20-yard line. Moore pushing and shoving between the Flames and the Blue Raiders before this football is even ruled down. Ref on the ground. And he's not happy about it. The back judge knocked to the ground. I don't see a flag thrown yet. You see this happen pretty often, honestly. When the ball is kind of just trickling and rolling, a lot of times the punt team will try to grab a return man and force him to touch the ball. And it's... So this is why the fight starts. They're going to try and grab 26 and force him to touch the football thinking that's a fumble. It's not. It's not a fumble. He, he has to inadvertently touch the ball for it to count. Oh, oh that referee's fired up, baby. Get him some pads. But Carter, you, you, you see this happen all the time. It's You, you can't do that, and I, I don't know why we see it weekly. You cannot grab a guy and throw him into the football. If it accidentally touches him, that's a fumble. I, I'm, I'm unsure how that flag does not get thrown during all that. That was a whole lot of extracurricular contact for no penalty flag. Over to the top of the screen, ISO on the edge, to the end zone, it is picked off. Preston Hodge has the INT in the end zone.